Hold up, I am on my way I'm in motion Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go Welcome back to my YouTube channel For those of you who are new here, my name is Chido And to all my returning subscribers Hey girl, how you doing? I missed you and I know you missed me too But I'm here now, so Another day, another vlogmas Today is vlogmas day 11 I'm ready to go to the gym and run a couple of errands and I figured I might as well take you guys with me but first things first I want to try out this ice water bath thing so let me wear my uniform hold on okay so now that we've covered our face hold on okay let's get the ice Okay. <sighs> what you're gonna need is one big bowl. Um, and then let me do this. Ice and some water. The visuals is ice and water. Okay. Mix, mix, mix. Okay. So. I had a uh, rumor has it you have to soak your face in here for like 20 seconds. Alexa, is it a 20 second timer? 20 seconds, starting now. <laughs> Alexa, stop, stop your timer. Dude, it's not even loud. Alexa, stop your timer. 20 second timer, cancel. Okay, I have to brace myself. Apparently this helps with like face puffiness and inflammation and your pores and stuff So I'm gonna try this out for like a week uh, Yeah, and then we'll see I just need to break myself because it's like 5 degrees Celsius or um, 41 degrees Fahrenheit for those of you who speak Fahrenheit um, So it's very cold so Okay, Alexa, set a 25 second timer. 25 seconds, Thing, but I did by like five seconds, you guys. I feel like that's all you're gonna get out of me. Okay, no, I'm not a great one. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. Okay, without a timer this time, but you guys can count for me, okay? Then let me know how long I did this for. Let me distract myself with like, um, okay, three, two, one. not that bad i feel like the people who do this during summer will probably feel more fresh and like you wake up a, a bit better um this does for sure wake you up my skin feels a little bit better though i will say but i feel like i don't know why i'm struggling to hold my breath yeah i don't know i couldn't tell you but yeah that's all so now we're gonna make some coffee and then head on to the gym okay Hey guys, I'm coming home from the gym 
And honestly, I left that place because I brought my nail and then I was just like over it. So I was like, whatever. I, so, I bought this jacket, right? So actually, let me show you. Okay, so I got this jacket, right? Exhibit A. Look at her. Look at her. She's so warm. She's so thick. She's come to the yum yum, right? But she's too big for me. I cannot steal it because it's too big. I look like I'm drowning. What? What? Then I said, let me buy myself one, okay? And I bought this first of all. She's ugly. Like what? Uh, what? Like what are all these patterns, hey? Me? Me? I want. Look, see, they're not even the same. I wanted us to match, match, but I can't. Because look, see, what are these ugly patterns? Ugly. And then I was like, maybe I'm being a diva. Maybe we yeah, actually just give me a crack. Look at me. Just look at me. I don't, it's not, it's not working. I was like, oh my God, you're so ugly. And she's not even like warm. Why am I still feeling cold in this house? I should be on fire. When I put this one on, I'm on fire. So she's gotta go. She's gotta go back home. I guess I gotta go. I guess I gotta go. I guess it's time to go. I guess I gotta go. So I have to return this today. Impromptu. But you know. It's what you get. Ugly. Also, like, what are these buttons? Like, we have time. We have time. Why not the little, like, you know, the little, like, creepy buttons? Like, ew. Anyway. I'm hungry. So we need to make something to eat, okay? You know what? I think I'm just gonna do it. A cheese sandwich. A cheese sandwich. Anyway. I'm gonna watch Shit's Creek while I make this and then I'll get back to you guys after I shower because I just got back straight from the gym and I didn't even shower. And if you're gonna judge me, then um, the Lord said don't judge people. So you're gonna be judged even more for judging me. So just don't. Okay, so yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit, okay? Thank you, bye. Okay, I got my jacket. Now I think I'm gonna head to Coles. I wanna see something. Oh, <laughs> you guys look. It's Santa. No, you guys. I'm having a dilemma. Are those? Are they, are they, oh, it's breathing. Oh my god, they are real. Why did I think they were stuffed animals? Oh, it's actually real. <laughs> That's actually cute. Guys, you know what? Let's go home. Let's just go home. Hey guys, I'm back from uh, the mall. Look at my jacket. Hold on. Look at my jacket. Does this not look better than the first one? See, she looks good. Also, she doesn't have that hair that looked like you see, remember how the other one had that brown, like black hair that looked like a wig. Anyway, I feel like I'm catching a cold. So I was stuck in the train for like I don't even know what happened. I think there was an accident, right? I'm telling you guys the story so i think there was like an accident in the train or whatever well not the train on the tracks right and i was stuck on the train for like two hours can you believe it can you believe it 
so yeah, I was saying I was stuck on the train for like two hours, right? And um, that was like, like, and I would have called an Uber. I would have, but I couldn't get a hold of some guy, so I would have had to call it by myself. And it was about it was it would have cost me like eighty bucks because it was like on extreme surge. I was not. Um, I was like, sit in this train and watch t series or listen to music or watch TikTok and not spend 80 bucks or spend 80 bucks and feel bad for the rest of the week. Mm, I guess we know what happened. I did not spend my money because I was not going to spend that kind of money on an Uber. Why would you do that? Anyway, so what I, let me put you guys down. Anyway, so what ended up happening, right? Anyway, so what ended up happening, right, was I was like, I was, at first I was like watching TikToks and then I was like, oh, Chido, you can't keep watching TikToks or whatever. Then I was like, you know what, oh, let me listen to worship music and just uh, read uh, Luke 5 because I've been doing um, a chapter a day of the book of Luke because it's about 24 chapters, so by the time I'm done, it'll be Christmas. And so when I was reading it, I started writing notes and stuff. And I was like, oh my God, I think I would like to share this with my Isabis. Anyway, so this is what I got out of Luke chapter 5. Verse, like, um, and this, the first thing I'm going to say is actually coming from the verses 5 to 7. So I, I'm reading notes because I would have forgotten if I didn't write it down. Um, so I was like, Simon was fishing all day and didn't find a thing. And then Jesus told him to try one more time and he got an abundance of fish. And sometimes in life, we like to do things on our own and we continue to get knowing. But when God steps in and we get Jesus' help, it doesn't take long. And, they, and there'll be like an instant shift of abundance with him. Moral of the story is we need to wait on Jesus and not give up. It's not good to give up on anything we're trying because you never know when Jesus is going to come knocking and you'll allow overflow in your life. AKA, and what's funny is the song that I was listening to at the time was Wait on the Lord. You know the Maverick City one? Wait on the Lord, He will renew your strength. Yeah, that one. My dimple is making another surprise appearance. She likes to tease me. Anyway. And then I was like, furthermore, the only reason they got a, they got fish in abundance is because when Jesus said, put back the nets, they didn't doubt or argue or complain or say negative things, which leads me to something that I've been meaning to tell you guys. Power of the tongue, beware of the things that you say, because sometimes the things that you say are the reason why you end up not having things work out your way. Because the other day, there was a day... Uh, Fungai had to do something, right? He had to write um, some exam. And the day of the exam, like, this was like a while ago. He, like, walks into the bedroom and he was like, and I was like, oh, are you ready? Are you excited? And he's like, oh, no, I, I, I don't know if it's going to work out. I didn't do, I didn't study. I would have probably done better if I had studied more, if I had more time, this, that, and the third. He was just complaining about it, right? And I was like, oh, my God. Um just believe and stop saying negative things because and then subsequently he didn't really do so well in it and a part of me felt like and we spoke about this and i was like bro has it occurred to you that maybe you didn't do so well because you had already decided and spoken it out loud that well you would have done better if you had studied with this then and the third and you weren't speaking life into like the situation and a lot of the time, a lot of us do this way, like when we're about to do something or when we're going, when something is happening in our life, we don't necessarily always like speak about it confidently or we speak about it in a positive way. We tend to sometimes have this attitude where we feel like if we dump something down or speak about it a little bit negatively, if it doesn't work out, then we won't feel bad or feel like we look stupid. So like we kind of like internally like kind of self-sabotage by saying bad things and also like therapist like language you also kind of feel like if you talk about it badly or if you talk about yourself badly then it doesn't give other people any power to do it because you did it first type thing but it's kind of like negatively working against you because it's also something i read in luke one when um the angel gabriel came to um zachariah wait is it zacharias uh 
yeah zechariah right john the baptist's dad he came to him and he's like oh your wife is going to have a son and his wife was old and she struggled with um conceiving and whatnot and he's like mm, how is that even possible i don't even think it's gonna work out and then the angel was like eh, 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 shut up because you said that i'm gonna close your lips and you're not gonna be able to speak at all you're gonna shut up until this baby comes because i'm not gonna have your words come in between what god has already said is gonna happen and so the nigga couldn't even speak for like nine whole months until his son came he spoke after john was born and i was like going like then there was a time like last week or whatever i was reading um the passage of no where is it the walls of jericho when joshua and them were going to around the walls of jericho and whatever and in that passage right when the angel came to tell him could you oh you guys need to go around the walls of jericho seven times singing and praising and praying or whatnot and he's like i want you to tell your people to shut up I want you to tell them, shut up. Oh, if you just shut up. Could you imagine? You're being told, oh yeah, we have to do this, but you have to shut up. Don't say nothing. Shut up. And he's like, yeah, because I'm not even going to let these people mess up anything. Right? So this is the angel speaking to Joshua. And he's like, I'm not going to let these these people, these deadbeats, because I didn't speak to them. And because the word of God didn't come from them, they're going to just like talk, 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 and talk for your nonsense. Right? And then it, it dawned on me and I was like, OMG, this is the same thing that happened with them Israelites. When Moses was given the decree, right, by God, Moses is like, oh, nigga, go and get those people from um, Egypt. It's time to take them home. Go and get those, my people. And yeah, it's time for you to set them free. And he's like, it's time for us to like do like, you know, version one of the Prince of Egypt, Prince of whatever movies, right? And then he's like, I bet. And then Moses who goes and picks up these homies and then what do these homies do they start complaining they start yap yapping these all they do is talk 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 they will not shut up they literally would not shut up and then what happened they were stuck in the wilderness for 40 years 40 not one not two not three not four 40 could you imagine I'm not even 40 which would mean if I was born I'd still be just stuck wandering around the wilderness because y'all don't know how to shut up and then Moses ended up not being able to go into the promised land because he let those people talk smack and God is like well because you don't tell your people to shut up you're not gonna see the promised land and it was like and I'm like thinking oh my god that is so unfair literally that is so unfair why am i being punished for somebody else's crimes oh my god that is another day that is another conversation for another day anyway so then so then it dawned on me in this verse where like and remember this is like generations after generations people who have never even met each other and at the time they don't even know about each other like that right from moses to joshua Fast forward Zachariah and all of these people and one thing that remains common and constant is God is always going to tell you people to shut up to shut up whenever he's trying to do something in your life you need to shut up because your mouth will run and move mad so anyway I say all this to say when Jesus was like to Simon Peter he's like oh let down your, your nets and then like um, the fish will come out Simon Peter was not like God that's not possible because all day we've been fishing I don't think that that's possible he was like God we tried but okay I'm gonna do it and then he did it and then they got fish right when Mary was met by the angel and he was like you're gonna have baby Jesus she was like uh how because obviously you're allowed to ask how and then he told her he said don't worry the holy spirit got you girl and then she's like oh okay if god chose me then i bet bring it i'm ready right she didn't doubt she didn't like argue she didn't fight back she didn't talk back or whatever she was like okay cool and the problem with us these days is we talk too much we talk too much on top of talking too much we talk back too much we ask too many questions we doubt too much and we complain too much and you know what that does that's like if you're like was like a soccer game and like just envision it as a soccer game right for all you like sports fans like me right and then Jesus was playing in the game right and your mouth was the goalie and Jesus was trying to score goals right in the game of your life every single time he kicks the ball and it's about to be a goal your goalie aka your mouth 
has the power to either let the ball go in or stop the ball based off of the things you say and every single time you talk bad or you say bad things or you doubt god or dispute him or complain you're just stopping the goal from getting in you're stopping yourself from winning in this game of life oh my goodness oh my goodness i like holy spirit thank you <laughs> anyway so yeah you guys i just want to tell you guys in this 2024 as we enter into 2024 don't go around blaming other people don't go around blaming the devil don't this thing of like oh no 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 monitoring spirits i'm not gonna tell people about a b c d it doesn't matter whether you tell us or you don't if your mouth is just gonna be like disqualifying you off the jump we don't need to know because you've disqualified yourself okay so in this coming year please guys let's say nice things let's say positive things otherwise shut up because you want to know one thing that always stays true silence can never be misquoted honey you can never be misquoted when you're silent okay if you've got nothing to say when god says do something if you've got nothing nice to say when your life is like when things are happening around you or when you're about to enter into a new season just shut up okay shut up because you did ask be blocking your own blessings by saying things that don't even make any sense and that's on her i just wanted to say that to you guys anyway i'm hungry and it's time for me to eat so I think I might leave you guys here because I'm going to eat and then I'm going to watch Shit's Creek and then take a shower and go to bed. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, I actually need to edit this video and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Love you like a love song. Bye.